Hi there! Whilst I'm not Patrick, and certainly not the community manager for Seed of Andromeda, I'm still going to introduce you to the third community spotlight. Today, we're going to talk about wait, a few fan wait, art you already contributions. Started? Uh, yes, you weren't there, and we really need to get this video out, so I decided yeah, I to do so. I told you I was going to get a soda and come back and we're going to start, but... Right, okay. Hey. Not very sorry, but, you hey, know, Jeremy, we can... Why you had a... uh, whatever, just tell them what you do. Right, okay, so I'm a bit of an all-rounder here. I do some programs, I plan to work on code, I will do some Lua scripting for all the gameplay things, and apart from that, I also edit these sorts of videos. I will also gonna, like contribute in terms of server stuff and do other overkill things next to whatever I'm doing. So first up, we're going to talk about Thomas 988's Planet's Fan Hut. What Thomas 988 did with these is uh, basically he went to Space Engine, Kerbal Space Program, and Seed of Andromeda and edited all of it together and made some really cool looking concept art that kind of hints towards the future of what Seed of Andromeda could and probably will look like. So you mean in 0.2.0? <laughs> yeah, when that comes. As if that's ever going to happen. <laughs> so yeah. Tune TM. At the oh. moment, it looks like it would make some really nice background images. I, I'm I'm going to set the last one as mine. I quite like that. Yeah, that one's really cool. The next thing we're going to be going over, though, is two skyboxes made by Sotlol. Uh, there's a one there. I don't know if it's important, but it, it, it exists. Basically, these two background images give a taste of what we might see in the future, and by might I mean what we will see in the future on the sky, instead of just stars and the sun or whatever, there's going to be gas giants, there's going to be other planets you see, and some of them may even be as close as this. But until then, these make a really good stand-in. Next up, the results for the contest are in. That they are! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well, we've chosen three winners, and we've also decided to honorably mention one due to it being awesome, but not within the grounds of the actual competition. But the first winner we have is Arctic, who's drawn this really engineer style Dunham University drilling machine. It, it drills, I guess. It has things that move up and down, so it's more like a scratchy drill than a rotating drill. But it has rotating things as well. There's a man standing on the back. I don't know if that's OSHA compliant, but, you know, who cares? You're on another yeah, planet. it looks like he could be hit in the head by anything, especially the stuff coming out of the drill head. That's a good point. It was horribly thought through. He's not a winner. No, I'm just kidding. He still is. <laughs> the second person we've chosen is Redbag1. There's another one there. What's the... What's with the... Yeah, whatever. He's drawn with color, actually, and, you know, really nice laser drill thing that seems to be melting the rock into a bucket of sorts. I really like that, because that just screams for automation. Yeah. Kind of just sit it somewhere, turn it on, go, I don't know, make a cup of joe, come back, and then your entire house is flooded. But you know what? Well, That's your fault. I, I was more thinking about you've got a thing, and then you've got a pipe, and then you just run pipe work back, and then you have, like, a tank where it sort of, like, forms a massive block, and then you store those blocks somewhere. Future. The last one we've chosen is by, uh, Selim. I don't know if that's how you put it. Selly M? Selim? I don't know. Something like that. The reason we chose this one is because it actually... It just looks really cool. It'd make a really good background. Basically what it is, it's three drill platforms that you can adjust the height of and then drill into the planet, but just the style of this art is really cool looking. Yeah, it's definitely very high quality. And it looks material designy, which is always a bonus. The last one we have isn't a winner. I mean, <sighs> he's a winner in our hearts, but not for the competition. It's by Choppy. Is, is Choppy Ossius or something, right? I just wrote down Choppy, because, you know, it's easy to say. But it's a painting he made of planets and stars, and it just looks really freaking cool. The, the significance of this painting, though, is that he said he actually was painting it long before the competition, so he's, this has been a long-term project for him. So, unlucky for him, we didn't make the grounds within what he painted, but one way or another, it's still really cool, and, hey, he's got an honorable mention, so... GG. This now leads us to conclude this community spotlight. Congratulations to our winners and thanks for everybody else who participated. Check out the developer delving on the website and have a good day. Bye. Bye.
Hey guys, Ben here. If you enjoyed this video, you should consider watching one of the two videos displayed here. Also, remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with any new development videos, and be sure to try out our game if you haven't already because it's awesome. Also, right now you're viewing this video on my personal channel, but we do want to transition to using an official Seed of Andromeda channel for videos such as these, so definitely click on the link below to go subscribe to that channel as well.